Hello, my name is Kathleen Crisp, and I'm an admissions director for University of the Pacific in Stockton. I'm going to talk to you briefly today about Pacific, its different programs, majors, how to apply, things like that. And then my contact information will be at the end of this recording. So feel free to contact me at any time. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen now. Okay, so you can see this slide. This is our logo. We are University Pacific. We are located again in Stockton, California. And we have three campuses. The main one is in Stockton. We also have a law school in Sacramento and a dental school in San Francisco. Stockton is located about an hour and a half away from San Francisco to give you a sense of where we're at. And then we have 3,600 students on the Stockton campus. There's 6,500 students total. The average class size is 19 people, and the faculty student ratio is 13 to 1. So what this means for you as a student is you're going to get really focused personal attention from the professors that might be harder to do if you went to a very large university, and that helps you with your education down the road because the more you work with them, the more opportunities you get about internships, research, uh, professional development, you know, all kinds of things that they can help you with. And this is the campus itself. It has a very much an Ivy League feel, uh, but everything is modern and state-of-the-art inside the buildings themselves. We have over 80 majors, so there's pretty much something for everybody. Everything from foreign languages to engineering, education, sociology. Uh, we have some accelerated majors where you can finish your degree in less than four years. And if you're not sure what you want to do, we do have an exploratory major. That's our fancy word for undecided. And you can take classes in a lot of different areas, and then that can help you decide what you want to major in at the end of the second year. And this is some of our students doing research with their professors. You can do that as early as the second half of your freshman year. These students are doing a robotics project. So that really helped them in their careers, again, down the road, and anybody can do it. And that's one of the advantages of having a faculty student ratio of 13 to 1. Some of the career outcomes here, 91% um, of our 2019 graduates were employed or in graduate school. Uh, some other things here that are not on the slide, we had over 700 companies visit the campus last year to recruit our seniors. We have a career services center that helps you with resume writing and interview skills. And also every major comes with an internship program. Some require it and some don't, but our career services center helps you find the right kind of internship that works best for you. And then when you live further away than an hour from Stockton, you are required to live on campus for the first two years. Uh, some of our residence halls have themes. For instance, we have an honors residential hall for students who have very high GPAs. Uh, we have Greek housing you can move into at your second year. Again, themed communities are not required, um, but they are an option for you as a student. So that's for the first year. And the second year, you can move into our apartments. That's actually one of our apartment buildings on that picture. And 60% of our students live on campus for the entire four years. And this is a picture of a dorm room. So you'll have plenty of room to spread out and and design things, and that will be your first year living experience. And then on the campus itself, we have over 17 men's and women's sports. We also have intramural sports like um, ultimate frisbee, flag football, things like that. We also have over 150 clubs and organizations you can join. We have a movie theater on campus, and we have a lot of concerts because we have a conservatory of music. Then outside of the campus, Stockton is the most diverse city in the United States, according to US News and World Report. And there are 72 languages spoken in Stockton. So we have music festivals, we have Greek festivals, and we have all kinds of things to do outside of the campus in addition to being on campus. This is some of our students enjoying life outside of our university center, which is where all the meals are served. And then for paying for Pacific, when you apply for admission, you're going to be automatically considered for up to $24,000 in merit scholarships. You can also apply for loans and grants that are all need-based, and the average package is about 28,000 students, sorry, $28,000. And our Pacific alumni earn the second highest salaries of all California colleges and universities. So you have a very good return on investment when you study at Pacific. 
and how to apply, um, we have two deadlines. The first one is November 15th. That is our early action deadline. Early action means if you apply by November 15th, you get the best consideration for admissions, scholarships, and financial aid. We have two very popular majors, pre-pharmacy and pre-dentistry. They only have one deadline, and that is November 15th. If you apply in November, you get a decision in January. And if you apply in January, you get a decision in March or April. Those decisions are not binding in any way. You do have until May 1st to accept an admissions offer. You can apply using the common application or we have our own application, either one's fine. We need your transcripts and there's no application fee and we are test optional. So if you did not take the SAT or the ACT, don't worry about it. It is not going to be counted against you in the application review process. So here is my contact information. I am your admissions counselor and I will be happy to work with you and take your questions at any time. Thank you for your attention.